All right, so pretty straightforward. I'm gonna strip this uh, front end off so I can press the steering stem out so I can send it over to Cognito Moto Dimensions for it, see if they have anything that fits that. Um, hopefully they do, and we'll go from there. So pull the front end off, we're gonna pull the forks out, bring this down, uh, bring this inside. I have a 20 ton press and uh, we'll press it out and see what it measures up at. All right, there we go. We're gonna go bring it inside and uh, press the steering stem off. So when I went to press this out, I took a close look at it, just to make sure not missing anything, and sure enough, I was. The bottom of the Superhawk ones are the steering stem safety welded in. So I'm gonna have to grind that safety weld out before I can press out the steering stem. The good news is I'm pretty sure that the one made by uh, Cognito is aluminum, so we won't have to safety weld that back in, it'd be a press fit. Uh, so we'll chuck this up in a vise real quick, grind that weld off and then press it out. All right, so I have the uh, triple tree and the steering stem chucked up in the vise. You wanna make sure that this is supported underneath. You don't wanna bend this because you're probably gonna have to put a decent amount of force on it. This one, maybe not because it's uh, it was also safety welded in. I don't know how tight it's gonna be but I expect it to have a fair bit of resistance. So make sure you have that supported. Also, I just have a sacrificial aluminum block right here to make sure that uh, you don't bung up any of the steel threads or anything like that at the top. You wanna to make sure that you have something softer in between. After that, this is just a 20 ton uh, press. You can probably do this with a 12 ton. I've gone and removed the bearing ahead of time. I just popped it off and with a bearing removal just to uh, give myself the best chance here. Again, I haven't done this, so I really don't know how tough it's gonna be. But let's see what it does. Add a little bit of pressure here, and it's already moving. That's not too bad at all. Just about there. And there we go. So, there is the steering stem removed. Not too bad. All right, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. Just make sure, yeah, I've got some pretty bad burrs on that. So I'm gonna go clean all of that up. We're gonna measure up the steering stem and send some pictures to the guys over at Cognito. Hopefully they have one in stock. If not, hopefully they can help me. I don't have anything too fancy to measure it up. I just use, uh, some really cheap digital calipers, but throwing it on here. This is the press fit side. We've got 30.02, 30.04. can see that. Twenty nine nine six. So just 30, 30 millimeters. Close enough that. You know, I'll send them the exacts, but I assume it's 30 millimeter. Yeah, anyway, so gonna send off all the pictures and the uh, measurements to Cognito. That's a big step done. Uh, one step closer to getting that front end properly mounted. So, pretty excited about that. That was not a particularly large job by any means. It was, it was very simple and, uh, and pretty quick, but definitely a big one that I'm glad I was able to get done fairly quickly. I've had a little bit more time. Uh, I've had some major shifts in my life in the past six months and actually kind of opened up a little bit more time for me, which is usually not how it works in life. So it's been nice to get out here and work on this. This is kind of my stress relief. All right, so I went out and cleaned up the triple trees. Um, I took down the weld. You could actually see the line from the weld material down to the original triple tree material. So I just cleaned that right up down to the uh, the original material, tried to even it out as possible, as level as possible. 
Um, and then I just put a, a slight chamfer on this, which I can feel not a lot. It's just a slight, slight chamfer. Just try and give that metal the best possibility it can um, to, uh, to seat nicely. I also took my new steering stem, threw it in the freezer for uh, well, a few hours, just try and cool it down, try and shrink it as much as possible. And I'm also gonna be using a very small amount of anti-seize just to try and give it the best shot and uh, not really mess up the, uh, the new steering stem or to give the best chance possible to, uh, to not gall it. So we'll get this all set up into the press. Again, you wanna make sure that you're supporting this for this, it took me a little bit to uh, to kind of figure it out, but I'm using uh, just a couple steel bars that I have to go underneath and support this as close as I can to the the area that we're pressing, just to give it as much support as possible. Now this one is steel. This is a steel triple. It's not as important if this, is, if this was a, an aluminum triple, it's very important because you don't want to torque or bend that at all. Um, this one's a little bit stronger just because of its construction, but still, you don't want to take any chances. Make sure you have it properly supported. So, just gonna apply a just very, very, very small amount of anti-seize onto this. I'm just gonna kinda wipe it on, and then we're gonna wipe it right back off. Just a little bit. This stuff gets everywhere. It doesn't matter how careful you are. It just does. So that's about it. It's just a super light coating just to give it uh, the best possible chance and try and make everything as smooth as we can. All right, let's press this into the triples. I have this all set up in the, uh, the press. I've just got these two rods holding this underneath. I have our sacrificial aluminum block again, just so I don't damage the new uh, the new steering stem. And I'm just going to slowly start bringing this down. Now it doesn't want to sit completely flat until we get pressure on it. So I'm just going to hold this flat. You might need to kind of reposition it as you're coming down. You want to make sure you're as square as possible to the press. You don't want to send it in cattywampus. All right, we got a little bit of pressure on it. And start pressing. So far, so good. Not a whole lot of pressure. Just a little bit, but I think we're going to be all right. This has a step on it, and then we're going to press it in all the way to that step. Right to there. All right, that's it. Now, it did shave a bit of the aluminum off. But I'm not that surprised. This is not the exact uh, stem that was needed. In fact, they don't make it. But I kind of had a feeling that I could make this work. And while I took a little bit off, I'm not that concerned about it. Just ever so slow. I didn't raise it up enough. See, it definitely took a little bit of that aluminum off, pressing into that steel. But, it is in there. It's pressed all the way down. Ooh, there we go. You can see it did shave some of the aluminum. Again, I'm not incredibly worried about that. So there we are, we're pressed in. New steering stem is on. I don't see any damage to the bearing surface. So, we are good. Let's go install it on the bike, see how it fits. All right, so I've got the bearing along with the dust seal on there. I'm just gonna insert that to here. 
place the new bearing on top. And now, oh, just got the dust seal. Place the dust seal there. And, moment of truth, we have threads. Threads right on there nicely, actually. Very nicely. We have enough for our safety. So I'm going to throw this on there real quick. Nice. Full threads on that. That's all I care about. Now, we still need to do some modifications, but. That is on there. That steering stem works. This is for an early model uh, CB600, sorry, CBR600. I think it's for like an 03 or something like that. It's not perfect. It's not exactly right, but it is functional. Now, let's test with the top triples. I don't know if these are going to fit. I might have to flip this upside down for a second because that is in the way. That fits on there perfectly. That nut screws right on down to that. All right. That makes this a functional front end. So we're going to tighten that down a little bit more. Now we need to modify this top uh, steering stop because flip this around. So I put this around this way. That front steering stop here gets in the way of the ignition. You can see it just sits, it sits proud. And that's right where that steering stop sits. Let's see if I can get you a better picture of that. So this top steering, uh, steering stop runs into that when you go to put that on. It just doesn't doesn't want to go. So we're going to have to cut this off, which is not a big deal. It's just a small piece of welded on steel. We'll cut that off the tube and then we can uh, mount the front end, mount the forks. So you're probably going to find this a little bit funny. I can't find any cutoff wheels, but what I did find is a hacksaw. So I've been just slowly, thankfully it has a decent blade in it, kind of cutting away at this. And oddly enough, I feel more secure doing it with a hacksaw than a cutoff wheel, just because those cutoff wheels take off a lot of material real quick and I don't want to clip the tube. So this is just a nice little easy way to, to take it off. All right, I'm just uh, give it a little tap there. Try to catch the tube. No more steering stop. Now, eventually I'll go in here and clean this all up with a uh, file or a grind wheel. Just take it down real quick. With that out of the way, let's see if that steering stem fits and the triple trees fit now. All right, we're gonna reinsert the steering stem. Upper bearing, dust seal. Tighten this down just a bit more this time. So we're gonna grab our wrench here and just give that a little bit more of a tighten down. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Don't want a ton of resistance. Take our locking nut. down. And then we're going to fold these tabs back up into place. Had to 
give it that little half crank more. Okay, let's see if that top triple fits on there now. There we go. All right. Throw that washer on there. And the nut. Right, I'll just tighten that up just a touch. Don't need to go crazy with it. This is just mocking it up. Just enough. Okay. Still movable, which is good because I've got to get the forks in there. Now, let's get the forks on and see how it looks. We'll get it down onto the front wheel and uh, yeah, take a look at it. But, that's great. That fits nicely. That steering stem is just long enough, I'll tell you. Uh, let me see if I can get you a better shot on that too. So that steering stem is just long enough. I mean, that's pretty much flush to it right there. Then this nut needs to be torqued down uh, a little bit more than it is. It's still very loose. But, it's, uh, it's right there. You couldn't get away with it being any shorter, that's for sure. But, that works. That is 100% functional. And uh, yeah, should be in good shape right there. All right, now that we got the triple trees mounted, let's throw the forks back on and uh, see how it looks. jack put down and get it resting on that front end. That is it. We are on the ground. Okay. Not bad. So, we don't have a ton of movement on our steering, which we knew. We're gonna have to adjust the bottom steering, uh, steering stops, but that is mounted. Let's just give this a little tighten there. Oh yeah. No room to spare, man, I'll tell you that much, but that is on there. I am totally comfortable riding that. So, that is the Super Rock front end mounted to the CB750RR project. Whew. A little bit more um, intensive than I thought. I was hoping it would be a little bit smoother to just swap it out. And uh, that definitely was not a cheap um, <laughs> steering stem from uh, Cognito Moto. Now, that's a ton of work for them and I appreciate them. Uh, but it definitely, you know, it's, it's a little expensive piece for it. But great news is everything fits, works great, and we're in good shape to move forward. Now we need to move on to the rear suspension. Mounting the rear suspension is going to be a big undertaking. It's going to be a lot more intensive, uh, a lot more fabrication. So we're going to have to figure out how to mount it not only to the top of the frame, but also to the bottom of the frame in a develop a linkage that this bike was never meant to have. The VFR uses a rear linkage, so we're going to have to come up with a, a whole different setup for that. Add to the fact that I'm using an R1 shock, that's a different dimensions, so I'm sure it's going to be modifying a lot. Spacers, if I need be, I can mill up some spacers, and I'm going to have to weld some kind of linkage mount onto the frame. That's the next take though. That's, that's the next undertaking. 
for now, it's in, you know, very, uh, very nice shape. I'm very proud, very happy of, about how it looks. So we'll get it leveled out and then start measuring up and, you know, mocking up some rear suspension to, uh, to get that working. And then it's wiring, <laughs> which is a whole nother shebang. So still a lot to go on this, but we're making good progress. Really, really happy at where it's at and uh, absolutely love this front end on there. So that's it for today. See you guys in the next one.